Don't forget that you can be a part of the program right now if you use the hashtag first 100 days on Twitter. Remember to tag at TVCNewsNG and at Nifem Yogunto Yusuf Kahu and Ganiyu Abiola. Well, we'll see your contributions and we'll share them shortly. Uh, let's turn our attention now very quickly to what happened today at the Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal, where President Tinubu has closed his defense in the petition filed by the Labour Party. The president tendered 18 certified true copies of documents in his defense. Part of the documents tendered by the president through his counsel seeks to prove that Peter Obi has a case of double nomination. It states that Mr. Obi purportedly resigned his membership from the People's Democratic Party on 26th May 2022 to join the Labour Party on the 27th of May 2022. It further stated that the Labour Party conducted its presidential primary election on the 30th of May 2022, which produced Mr. Obi as candidate it intended to sponsor in that election. And by virtue of Section 77, uh, Subsection 3 of the Electoral Act, it says Labour is mandated to have submitted its comprehensive register of members to INEC 30 days before its presidential primary. Well, the submission implies that the register of members must have been submitted to INEC on or before 30th of April 2022. Mr. Obi, as of 30th of April that year, was still a member of the PDP and his name wasn't in the register of members submitted by Labour Party. Well, we'll return after this break. It's 23 more days to send the name of ministerial nominees to the National Assembly for screening. And Nigerians are waiting eagerly to see the crop of professionals who will work with President Tinubu to actualize his renewed hope mandate. I'll be joined by former Minister of Works on the program. Stay with us.